Now, people talk about making leaders in, in three separate ways. First, great people cause great events, or movements make leaders, or the confluence of unpredictable events creates leaders who are appropriate for the times. Does one of these fit you? I don't know. I'd I, I probably think that uh, um, the events and circumstances, uh, the influences on my life uh, have shaped and molded me so that when situations arose where I happened to be present and a part of, I could utilize those skills and those abilities, those experiences to, to make a difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, having the orientation that I got through the various experiences in my life uh, probably uh, motivated me to, to, to step forward to, to, to try to make a difference. Um, you know, whether it was the Boy Scouts, the Sunday School, the, uh, the Order of the Arrow, uh, you know, I'm there trying to, to make a difference. And, and uh, you know, Dr. King sort of put that, put that, that nail in, in my head pretty, pretty strongly. Uh, I, I have to let you know that it was later in life, though, that I developed another hero. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd heard of him during the movement days, never knew who he was. Uh, but it was Nelson Mandela. Yeah. And uh, truly, uh, Nelson Mandela has, has almost eclipsed Dr. King really? in terms of my, my uh, 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 respect and admiration for, for a leader. Mm -hmm. um, he's, a, he's indeed a, a, a tremendous uh, personality, and I'm, I'm fortunate to, to have read of his life and to have met him and to, to really have, have uh, uh, studied the way that he was able to deal with the circumstances uh, with which he was faced. Mm -hmm. uh, but he, I have a tremendous amount of respect for him, mm -hmm. uh, equal to that of, of Dr. King. 